Hey guys, it's Melissa. I have been thinking, I know we talk a lot about what we want to do when we are approaching potential distributors, but I don't know that we talk a lot about what we want to stay away from or what we want to be careful not to do. So I just wanted to touch on that really quick. One of the things that I think we need to be careful of is we do not want to approach people from a sales standpoint, like we're trying to sell them something. We really want it to be from a heart, a heart standpoint. So if you find that when you're talking to potentials, this is really about loyal customers too. If you're talking to potential people about joining your team or buying your products and and you find that your words and your heart and your emotions behind it are all about business, that is not going to be very attractive to most people. Uh, most people are drawn to our hearts and our desires for a bigger life and a better life. And, um, and that is so much what It Works is about. Then something else we don't want to do is we do not want to talk people into being on our team. I have people ask that a lot. How do you talk people into being on your team? And I can tell you that I have never talked anyone into being on my team. In fact, there are people that I have talked out of being on my team because I can just, I could tell that this was not the right fit for them. This was not the right time for them. Um, obviously, people can make their decision no matter what. And I've actually had some people commit who I thought maybe it wasn't quite the right timing and, and but that's their call, but I never talked them into it. Another big thing is we need to be careful not to get hung up on the five or six or seven or however many potential distributors we have and get stuck on them. It's really easy, I think, to be like, well, I've messaged a few people, they have responded, and now I'm just waiting for it to go somewhere. And then we just sit and wait and wait. I can tell you that I probably message, I probably contact at least, um, I would say maybe about 20 new potential distributors a week. So that's 80 potential distributors a month. Now, that does not mean that I hear back from all of those people. In fact, I would say every week I probably hear back from two or three of them. And, you know, so that is between 8 and 12 a month that I actually hear from and we have a conversation. And out of those people, maybe two or three or four become serious. And some of them sign up right away and some of them take a while. But it is really easy, I think, for us to be like, well, I'm talking to these few people and we just stop and we wait and we wait for them to say yes, hopefully yes or no. And then months can go by. I mean, I have had people who have taken six or seven or eight months. I have two women right now who I have been talking to for 12 months and have not committed, but they are still interested and they're still intrigued and they're still asking questions. Well, if a year ago I would have waited and just kind of got stuck on waiting for them to commit. I mean, man, I would have lost out on a lot of people who needed this and wanted this. So make sure that you don't just stay. Keep moving forward. You know, you can definitely go back and um, touch base with the, with the people that you're talking to now, but, but keep moving forward. And with that, um, we also want to be careful that we don't let the no's paralyze us. If I could go back and count, or the ignores, I think sometimes the ignores are worse. If I could go back and count all the people that I have contacted over the last 16 months who have ignored me or said no, I might cry <laughs> because it has been a lot of people. Like I, I can't even tell you, but I didn't, I wasn't worried about it because I knew that if they weren't responding or they said no, then this is clearly not the right time for them. And what we need to remember is that every seed we plant is or every time we talk to someone that is a, a, a seed planted and there is no seed planted that goes unwasted it might take them a few years before they're ready but if this is if we're in this thing for the long haul like if we look 5 10 15 years down the road and we see ourselves here we're not going to be panicky about the people who ignore us right now and over some people just need a lot of time to watch and to hear and to see us be consistent so be really careful not to let yourself get stuck on the nose and then the last thing I want to touch on is just there is a very fine line between being bold and being aggressive. For example, to me, bold would be saying to someone, oh, I want you on my team. You would be awesome. This is why I think you'd be good here. That is bold. Aggressive comes in when we don't leave people alone, um, when we are messaging them daily, uh, sometimes multiple times a day, and then especially when they're not responding. Obviously, if people are interacting, we can keep on going. But I'm talking about messaging when people are not responding and we just keep 
following up, following up, following up over and over and over. Follow up is amazing, but we have got to give people space. Some people, they're just not in a headspace to be able to process the questions that we're asking them and they need some time. Some people might have forgotten about it. Some people might have read it and then life got busy. And so definitely following up is good, but not the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. And if you're having a hard time figuring out if you are being too aggressive, talk to your upline or your sidelines who are doing well at signing distributors and, and you know, talk through your time frame and see what they have to say about that. And then, um, and then, and just be excited. Uh, Amy Farthing talked about that uh, in a video earlier this week that we want to make sure that we stay away from um, a, a doomsday, sad, whatever, whatever it is. Just we want to be excited. So that's more of what we want to do. Um, but I just want to reiterate that. So I hope you're having a great week. It's only Monday. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye.